Now turn to section two. Section two. You will hear a guide talking to a group of visitors about a national park. First, you have some time to look at questions eleven to sixteen. Now listen carefully and answer questions eleven to sixteen. Welcome to Byron National Park. I am Jim Carson, your tour guide for the trip. First, I'd like to give you some basic information about the park. Covering seven thousand acres of land and spanning across three states, Byron National Park was established to protect the area's most spectacular scenic values. With unique geological features, natural history, and native plant and animal life, it is an ideal destination for recreation as well as research purposes. The park has a breathtaking waterfall connecting the longest river in the country, but it is most renowned for having the largest subtropical rainforest worldwide. There are many layers of tall, medium, and low vegetation. Growing with seasonal variations in the park, it is a place where the air seems green. Ardent hikers can find an awesome array of options here. Apart from the dense green rainforest, tourists can also hike along the mountain trail. Despite the stunning view, taking photos is not advised on the way up. I'm afraid, as one might get distracted, and the narrow trail by the sheer cliff is quite dangerous. When you reach the top of the mountain, there is nothing better than having a picnic under the trees with your family. Accompanied mostly by wildlife, walkers as well as cyclists may find the bush track a good choice for having a tranquil time to themselves. As your tour guide, I suggest that only expert hikers take the creek circuit, because its beautiful and inspiring scenery through the subtropical jungle. Is paralleled by its physical challenges. A list of transport is available within the park. Bicycles are a popular choice, as it is the most flexible way to get around. Electric trams are temporarily closed for maintenance. Boat trips down the river are an ideal way to spend a tranquil afternoon. Rest assured that transport within the park is covered in the bill. Extreme sports is another highlight of the park. There are, for adventurous grown-ups, especially those who are comfortable with having a racing heart, scary as it may sound, it is actually safe to participate in extreme sports under strict instructions and close supervision. Abseiling is available regardless of the weather. It is a fun way to overcome fear of heights, gain new skills, and get an adrenaline rush. Bungee jumping and paragliding are also available, except for during the summer. At this point, you might worry about meals here. Well, even though there is only one restaurant in the park at the moment, the variety of dishes is astonishing. There are two meals included in the price. Just get your meal ticket at the reception before dining. Also, there is no need to make reservations. Or worry about availability, since there are plenty of tables. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions seventeen to twenty. Now listen and answer questions seventeen to twenty. During your stay here, you might want to know what there is to do. 
Let's turn to the plan so I can familiarize you with the layout of the park. Most tourists would choose to stay in our guest house, located in the southeast corner. It features 63 tastefully appointed guest rooms, many of which offer spectacular views of the park. You'll find a home away from home at our guest house. But for those who want to experience the natural beauty up close, there is also a campsite. When you get out of the guest house, go straight ahead, turn right at the end of the road. To your left, there is a campsite amongst the trees where you could spend a night under the stars together with owls and chipmunks. If you look at the top left of the plan, you will notice a picnic area. You can either bring your own food or we can deliver food to you. Barbecue is an option. The business centre is situated directly opposite the picnic area. It provides flexible, fully serviced offices, conferencing suites, meeting rooms and is equipped with the latest multimedia facilities. Wired, as well as wireless, high-speed internet is available within the entire premises. The centre is designed to cater to both individual travellers and corporate groups. Visitors can also go to the museum, which holds a vast collection that exhibits local history and a natural habitat. You start from the guest house, just turn left at the first conjunction, then walk past the tea house, turn right. You'll see the museum after making the third right. Have you found it? Pretty easy, right? To spend a delightful afternoon with a book and a fresh cup of coffee, you can go to the only cafe in the park. From the guest house, you go straight, then take the second right, and you'll see the cafe right in front of you. You might want to check out our all-season tennis court, which offers instruction for all ages and skill levels. It is located right opposite the cafe. That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to check your answers.